at five breaking developments in the search for a missing Raleigh woman. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sharon Taswell. And I'm Sean Maroney. We have new images of the missing woman, Allison Cope. RDU released these security camera photos of Allison Cope at a gas station in Wake Forest from around 415 Monday afternoon. This is just a little more than an hour after she was last seen inside of Terminal 2 at the airport. And right now, the State Bureau of Investigation and Highway Patrol are searching from the air and water around Falls Lake. CBS North Carolina. As David Hurst has been out with investigators all day and joins us live with the breaking details. David. Yeah, Sharon, tonight the search for 24 year old Allison Cope is centered around the Falls Lake area here in northern Wake County. As for family and friends, it's a search that's leaving no stone unturned. The search for Allison Cope has ramped up as authorities look from the air and water on Falls Lake. They say they're focusing on this area because of how close it is to her last known location. The 24-year-old was last seen at a Shell gas station in Wake Forest at 4.15 on Monday afternoon. After looking at video surveillance at the airport and gas station, RDU police say there's no evidence she's in any danger and no evidence that a crime was committed at the airport. Still, family and friends say they're concerned about the 24-year-old. One of Cope's roommates sent us these pictures after their family rented a helicopter to search for her car in the Falls Lake area. They say they're looking for a 2014 Silver Ford Fusion. It has a North Carolina license plate and a change of heart pit bull rescue sticker on the back of the window. And authorities also tell us the Wake County Sheriff's Office has a boat out here on the lake. They say they're searching along the shoreline for any signs of Cope's car. Reporting live in Raleigh, I'm David Hurst, CBS. North Carolina. All right, David, thank you. And we have more live team coverage on the breaking developments. Amy Cutler is live from the gas station where Allison Cope was last seen. Amy. Sharon, this is information that we have been looking into for the last couple of days. RDU police confirming now that Cope was at this gas station that she used pump seven right over there and that she was caught on that surveillance camera. Now, take a look at these stills RDU police sent us. They're from surveillance video that was taken at the Shell gas station on Durham Road in Wake Forest. It shows Cope going into the store around 4.15 Monday afternoon. That was about an hour after she left the airport. RDU police say there's no evidence that she was in any kind of danger. They also tell us they found no evidence of any crime being committed at the airport. I've spoken with her roommates, friends, and family. They all say this is out of character for for the 24-year-old. Take a listen to what the family spokesperson had to say. The Cope family has been in communication with the law, all the law enforcement agencies involved um, and so are aware, you know, of what is going on and of the pictures and everything. According to my gut feelings, I feel, you know, this is not like Allison um, to do something to just take off. Now, as you, we told you earlier, Cope's roommates continue to search for her, and they are urging people to keep their eye out for that silver Ford Fusion. We have more information on that on our website, WNCN.com. Now, I also had the chance to speak to the gas station attendant here. He tells me that he actually remembers seeing Cope. We're going to have more on that coming up live at 6 o'clock. Live in Wake Forest, I'm Amy Cutler, CBS, North Carolina. Amy.